Click Sense Field Selections. In this section, we will look at various recipes which is related to ClickSense field selections and how we can utilize them in our dashboard or visualization. The first recipe is comparing values of same chart. So let's go to the ClickSense and see it in action. So here I am in ClickSense and let's go into the edit mode. Within the edit mode and the master items, we will going to create two alternate states. So we will click on create new, give the name as group one and for another one we will say group two. You can give any name that you want but for now I will just say group one and group two. Now let's go to the charts. Here I will first get the filter pane and uh, filter pane and within filter pane let's add the dimension as if for example customer segment and uh, another filter pane for let's say the same um, customer segment all right after that we can go to the alternate states which are over here and we will say group one so group one will basically whatever we have selected let's say for example in this case here the alternate states that we will select is the group one earlier since this was not selected and we were outside it's doing it for the entire sheet so for now I will just change it inherit and uh, once I go over there I'll select the group one for the second dimension or the filter we will select group two now these are two different filters one is related to the group one and the second one is related to the group two now let's create a chart to see its impact so for example let's get the bar chart over here let's add the dimension which is related to let's say product subcategory over here and let's add measure which is related to the sales sum of sales and here we have good nice chart over here the bar chart and uh, for this bar chart we need to modify the measures so sum of sales we need to say that it is related to the group one so within this we will say group one g r o u p group one and click apply and i'll just copy this and as you would expect i'll just add one more dimension to the measure to it saying group two and hit enter so right now both are same and if I just go into the appearance and within colors and legend let me hide the legend for now and let me click done so once I click done and I select the group one you would see that the first that there is a difference in the chart we are right now comparing the group one which is consumer with the entire value of the group two which is nothing but this one the group two sale but let's say I want to compare consumer with home office so I will click home office now you will see that under which categories the consumer category which is blue category is higher than the group 2 which is home office now let's say I want to compare consumer with small business and uncheck this and you will see how my categories are doing so this way alternate states enables us to define as many groups as we want let's say you want three different groups for the three different uh, reasons that you want to compare and then just want to see everything right in front of you how this comparison looks like for the purpose of either understanding the business or making a business decision and this way when you specify the group one and group two you enable your dimensions as well as chart to adopt it as part of the alternate states for comparative analysis.